Welcome back to PSN News. I'm Jacenny Moreau, and with me tonight is a student involved with Awesome, Com Radio, and Penn State Athletics, Emma Holtz. Thank you so much for coming in tonight, Emma. To start off with, tell me a little bit more about yourself with like your major, what grade you're in. Sure, so I'm a senior uh, PR major, and I'm from Pittsburgh. And essentially with what I do with Penn State Athletics is I'm taking care of the whole game time atmosphere. So outside of what's happening on the field or the court, I'm the one responsible for kind of making sure that fans stay off their phones and stay engaged with the game. Um, and it's just something that I've really enjoyed and love to do for the last two years. So I've been in the uh, internship since, since sophomore year. That's awesome. So you mentioned you started sophomore year and now you're the lead marketing intern, which is an amazing position to hold. How did you make your way up to that? So I started off as a game day intern. So that, that's how all the interns are hired within the internship. So essentially we're assisting the lead throughout the game with any promotions or anything that's going on. Um, I will also pick contestants as well for our games, any of our sponsorship, sponsorship promotions that are going on. Um, and essentially, uh, I was chosen by two of my bosses at the time. Um, they had actually promoted me a little bit earlier than some lead interns. So I, they approached me honestly and were like, hey, we think you'd be a great leadership intern um, and managing your own intern team, taking on more of a role in the behind the scenes part of sports. And that's how I got the role and I've been growing and continuously learning ever since. That's very exciting. I know you do a lot with men's, um, Penn State's men's hockey. And with Thon coming up, they had the teddy bear toss. Tell yes. me a little bit more about what you guys have done with Thon raising money through hockey. So with teddy bear toss, it's an annual initiative where fans during one particular game, they all bring a stuffed animal. It doesn't have to be teddy bear in particular. We've had giant squishmallows before. We've had um, unicorns and things like that. But they're anything that a child, um, specifically in Thon and the family who's impacted by childhood cancer, um, those kind of teddy bears and things, they help with emotional situations. So the fans actually throw the teddy bears onto the ice during the first intermission. And I w was fortunate enough to be on the ice this year and got to see just the shower of teddy bears happen. And it was something that I'll never forget. Um, just seeing all the fans come together for a greater cause. And I've actually been involved with the teddy bear toss before. I was two years ago to help bag the teddy bears uh, and organize the delivery process. But this year in particular, I was fortunate enough to be part of all of the different steps. So I would actually call um, some of the other nonprofits in the State College area, specifically Toys for Tots actually took 1,000 bears. We had 1,787 collected. They took 1,000 of them, which was great, um, because Thon only has so much room for their teddy bears, so we have to kind of allocate some of them elsewhere. But um, I was involved with calling certain places and actually delivering them myself. My car was full of teddy bears for <laughs> a little bit of time. Uh, but that kind of outreach effort, I had never been completely on the ground floor before um, in that capacity. So it was a great initiative to be a part of, and I'm going to be forever grateful for it. That's so exciting, definitely for the kids. Mm -hmm. um, and with Penn State Athletics, what would be the coolest thing you'd say you'd take, taken part of? I would say um, specifically with Penn State football as a leadership intern it, within our internship is you get to work all the football home games. Um, and this year I had the opportunity to be the honorary captain primary contact. So I've seen some other interns do it in the past and I was really interested in that hosting part of my job. But essentially with the, being the primary contact is I'm in charge of hosting the honorary captain that's chosen usually two per every home game um, and making sure that they have a great time. And a lot of them bring their families, bring their kiddos. And it was a really great experience in that I had the opportunity to get to know some of the honorary captains this year. Uh, you might recognize some names, Mike Gesicki, Trace McSorley, Grant Haley. Um, I was essentially making sure that they were re prepared, ready to go, because they go out with the 2023 captains this year, um, Keaton Ellis, Dominic DeLuca, um, Malik Mega, uh, to name a few. And they would go out with them during the coin toss, and then they'd also have a recognition in the first quarter. So it was really cool just being able to host them and, and get to know them as people, because I feel like a lot of the time with Penn State fans, they'll put them on a pedestal, um, especially a lot of them go to the NFL. So it was really great to know them as people and get to know their families and their, and their, and their children in, in some cases. So it was, it was a great opportunity to kind of create that experience for them and, and make sure that they still loved coming back again and again. Yeah, that is really cool and a great opportunity to be a part of. So moving on to your involvement with Com Radio. So you've been a part of Com Radio for three years and you've definitely made your way up to sports director now. 
Tell me a little bit about what Com Radio is and your position. Sure. So Com Radio is one of the premier student-run radio stations here at Penn State. We actually have our uh, studios right above this one. Um, and essentially, you can get involved in kind of a choose-your-adventure way. So you get to dabble in podcasting, in live shows, like talk shows and things like that. Um, you get to also go, if you're going in the sports director, or excuse me, the sports route, you get to um, learn how to do play-by-play -play and color commentary at certain Penn State events here. And Com Radio was one of the first places I had actually joined because I'm a huge writer and I love to write. I always have. I have, I have a blog that I honestly need to update more often, but um, I had joined Com Radio for that reason in that I wanted that uh, beat writing experience, learning how to be a reporter. And I had actually worked my way up from kind of taking a lot of the NFL content and also signing up for our production elements, which is one of the ways that as the sports directors, they would get to know us uh, as general members. So I started taking a lot of those, learning audition. That was my first time I had ever done that. Um, to then I had been, uh, the sports director position had opened up and that I had just decided to go for it because it was one of those cool um, moments where I really started to fall in love with the broadcasting side, the production side, as well as um, anything else that I had done at the time. So I had become a sports director and at the time there was actually very few women within the club. Uh, I remember my very first sports, my very first sports meeting. It was on Zoom because of COVID. And um, there was just me. That was the only woman there. And um, I'm very proud of how far it has come since then, just to see that kind of growth happen. Um, but it, I've loved every minute in Com Radio, just learning different aspects of what makes a game day a game day. That's great. Definitely seems like Com Radio is a good experience to be a part of. So you mentioned being a woman in sports. You're also a part of the Association for Women in Sports Media. Tell me a little bit more about what Awesome is and your position as treasurer. Sure. So obviously Awesome is the Association for Women in Sports Media. It essentially is um, it's a club where women who are, who are interested in sports, who want to work in sports, that they can all come together and kind of share that interest with one another. Um, and it's a great place. It was actually the first club that I had joined here. Uh, it's a great place to just be able to share interests and really create bonds with uh, people who are of your same like mind. So as treasurer, I had actually, um, I manage all of the dues that are collected. So there's two different types. There's the national dues since Penn State's chapter of Awesome, we're not like the, we're part of the national chapter. So um, I manage the chapter dues that members would give me and then I would manage those and make sure that they're allocated properly to different events that we hold. Um, even today, as we're filming this, it was, we, it was our Galentine's Day, so we had donuts and coffee, um, and just an opportunity for girls to swing by and just network with one another and just be able to see familiar faces. Um, so I make sure that those funds are allocated properly to different events that can benefit um, both on the professional side and the personal side with our club. That's great. Emma, thank you so much for doing this with me today and all your commitment that you have towards so many clubs at Penn State. Thank you. Stick around because next up, Nolan and Emma will have the latest news from across the nation.